So men are going their own way, meaning they're opting out of marriage and relationships altogether more than they ever have before. And so in thinking about this, it made me realize just the state of masculinity that we're in in the world right now. We're obviously in a crisis of masculinity. And with that comes these men that are kind of looking at the overall marriage landscape and divorce rates and divorce laws and are thinking, okay, this is too risky for me. I'm going to take a step back and I'm not actually going to do this. I'm going to pursue you know, my own life, my own faith, fitness, finances, whatever, but I'm going to just going to leave women and family out of the equation altogether. Guys, this is a loser defeatist mentality, okay? For one key reason, okay? Well, I could get, there's probably a myriad of reasons, but for one key reason, we forget that we as men are designed for risk. So yes, marriage is a risk, of course. It's like you're, 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 you're putting a loaded gun to your head and asking the woman not to pull the trigger uh, for the entirety of your life. I understand that risk, but we forget that we're built for risk. We forget that we have ancestors, all of us have this thing in common, is that we all have ancestors that have killed another man for their own freedom or in war or for whatever reason, for us to be here having this discussion today. We're so insulated and so comfortable and so risk averse that we forget about this. We're so comfortable in the, in the West with all of our opulence and Uber Eats and uh, cheap entertainment and pornography and all of these things that we forget that we're built for risk. Now, I'm not just saying go out and marry anybody. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I am saying is that we have to understand that with this being built for risk part, we also have to understand what we're getting into too. Okay. And this is why all throughout my, my Instagram content, my YouTube content, you know, even, you know, my podcast, we talk about you want to give yourself the best chance at you know having a successful marriage. So what does that mean? That means not having sex with the woman that you're dating, that you're trying to court to marriage, so you can see her for who she really is. I've said this probably 35 times on this channel so far, and I'm con going to continue to shout it from the rooftops because it's an important point. And so let me actually, before I get into that, let me actually pose a question. What is the alternative to a family into marriage? I just hear an echo. What is the alternative? The fact is, gentlemen, there is no alternative because all the men that I've met that are older men that don't have wives, that don't have families, are pretty sad and depressed men. Not always, not always. There are some exceptions, but we're not using the exception to explain the rule here, guys. Most of the time, they are sad, lonely men. And what's even worse than that is some of them still possess this playboy mentality like they were in their 20s or in their teens where they have a harem of women and they see multiple women that is an empty disgusting loser immature way to live your life as a man okay part of being a man is putting yourself in positions of risk for the betterment of the future especially for the betterment of your family's future so guys let me ask you again what is the alternative to marriage i understand divorce laws and all that stuff is stacked against us as men yes for sure we're built for risk. And so how we mitigate that risk, how we lower that and give, our, give ourselves the best possible chance at success is by finding and vetting a good woman and then marrying her. It's not a prenup because a prenup is giving you future permission for divorce. Like, come on guys. And plus that piece of paper doesn't even mean anything. So you want to give yourself a potential out in the future. You're not actually properly yoking yourself to your wife the way that God calls us to. And instead, you're, you're, you're relying on this piece of paper to say that, yeah, my wife's not going to be able to take all my things from me. Listen, if she wants to take all your things from you, she's going to be able to do that regardless. That's part of it. We can piss and moan and bitch about the laws. We can't change them. You can move to another state or another, you know, for me, I'm in Canada, so it's kind of the same all over Canada, but you move to another state if you're in the U.S., now, if you're in Europe, I'm not sure what's going on over there, but you can move to another place. Maybe the, the, the divorce laws are less harsh, but you're not going to really be able to dodge this because we live in a gynocentric, almost matriarchal society right now. Things are in favor of women, for sure. We are walking an uphill battle, swimming up upstream with a situation like this. But again, I ask the question, what's the alternative to a family and children and marriage? There's no alternative. And so for the men that are opting out, some of them are still having sex outside of marriage, which it doesn't really make sense to me. You're acting like a grown, grown up teenage boy that you're, you are essentially masturbating with other people's bodies. And eventually that's going to lead to your destruction and you are going to be cast down to hell. Listen, I'm a God fearing man. I firmly believe the teachings of the Bible. 
And so I only think there are two ways for a, a man to really go, okay? Listen up. Number one, it's marriage. And that's most men are going to fall into this category. We're built to be leaders of our homes. We're built to be uh, protectors, prophets, uh, providers, We're meant to preside by our families. But there's also this alternative. If you want to go your own way, if you're one of these men that are like, okay, I'm done, you've got to be celibate then. Yeah, there were people in the Bible that were celibate. There were people in the Bible that did not marry. Sure, that's the only two paths. Those are the only two paths for men. Most men are built for celibacy. Some men are. I know some men that that is their life. They live a permanent monk mode. That's the way God had wired them. That's the way that they're meant to serve the kingdom. And that's cool. Most men are not going to fall into that category. Okay? Most men would do better by getting married. And let's just, let's just be real here for a second. A lot of men are concerned about their finances. That, you know, I, I, I don't want to lose money or, you know, it, 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 it's a lot of pressure to, 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 to provide for family. Yes. So married men make more money and married men also have better sex. So if it's about money and about sex, then why wouldn't, why wouldn't you just get married? Because both of those things are enhanced. Every single year that I am married to my wife, I make more money. Period. And so if it's about sex, well, you're going to have better sex within the confines of marriage anyways. And also divorce men on average make more money than men that have never previously been married. And these are all statistics you can go out and look for yourself. These are real things. I'm not just pulling them out of my ass here, guys. So I pose the question, what is the alternative to these things? Okay. And so the solution is to vet and, and find a good woman, not on Tinder, not at the club, not at the bar, is to find a good woman, whether you meet her at church or library or some kind of community meetup. I don't know, the Courtship Network, which I'm an affiliate with. I'll leave that link below. It's up to you to find her, but it's also up to you to vet her properly. Okay, don't have sex with her before marriage. See her for who she really is. Does she possess all of those qualities? So along with this video, guys, we are releasing a podcast today, uh, the Masculine Revival podcast about how to find a good wife. So this is the perfect timing. So if you want to understand the framework and, and, and what goes into finding a good wife, definitely listen to this, the, the podcast along with this video to give you a, a better idea. But there's a few facts that remain. Don't have sex with her before marriage. So you can see her for who she properly is, vet her through, you know, questions and, and going out together and, and seeing if she's, you know, wife, mother, homemaker material. And then past that, it's going to still be a risk. But the whole point of this video is, dude, what is the alternative? You want to be celibate? If that's how God has built you, if you're truly that man, which you probably aren't if you're watching this video, then go do that. But most men are built to be, built to be leaders of families, meant to be selfless servants to their families, and meant to take that risk because we as men are built for risk. So going your own way seems like a loser mentality and a cop-out for something that can really fulfill you as a man and change your life and change society for the better. We need stronger fathers. We need stronger husbands. We need stronger, more faithful and virtuous men at the helms of their families to change this degenerate culture around us. That's all I'm going to say. So don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. If you want coaching, I'll leave the application below as well. God bless. We'll catch you in the next one.